North Korea test nuclear bomb. The United Nations has condemned North Korea for its test of a powerful nuclear bomb and South Korea has announced it will join a U.S. led initiative to intercept ships suspected of spreading weapons of mass destruction. The United Nations Security Council said the test was a clear violation of a 2006 resolution banning North Korea from conducting nuclear development and that it would start work immediately on a new resolution that could result in even stronger measures. Nonetheless, resolutions have not worked at all against North Korea. They have their own plan and it's called nuclear blackmail of the nations of the world. In other words, North Korea wants money or food aid. They definitely want something. Or they could sell nuclear technology materials or a nuclear weapon on the worldwide black market for weapons because North Korea is a very poor country. Russian officials said the nuclear bomb at the north detonated underground was comparable to those that obliterated Hiroshima and Nagasaki, raising fears that the communist country could spread such technology abroad. And in a further sign of the north mounting standoff of the world, the country also fired short-range missiles off its coast into the ocean. So what can the world really do about North Korea? Doesn't seem to be anything that it can do. Nuclear weapons proliferation. Well, it's out of control, isn't it? The nations of the world can't really fix this problem. Not yet at least. In dealing with North Korea, American officials are reduced to studying two month old photographs of its reclusive leader to calculate how long he is likely to live. The new administration's North Korea team includes a special emissary who works part time as an academic dean and a State Department official who has yet to be confirmed by Congress. And as President Obama tries to find a way to punish North Korea for its latest nuclear test and missile launchings, his senior aides acknowledge that every policy option employed by previous presidents over the past dozen years or so whether hard or soft, political or economic, has been totally fruitless in stopping North Korea from building a nuclear weapon. As much as they understood this was going to be an issue, they weren't ready for a nuclear test in May, said an expert on North Korea. They're in a situation now where they have to contain and manage another crisis, one crisis after another. That crisis, officials and independent experts say, is all the more treacherous because of the deep political uncertainty in North Korea. American officials say they believe that Mr. Kim, in rapidly declining health, is maneuvering to make his youngest son his successor. The nuclear test and the test firing of six short-range missiles must be understood within the context of this internal struggle. But they warn that the information coming out of North Korea is very vague and inconclusive. So in other words, nobody really knows. People who tell you they know what's going on there 
don't really know, said one official. What's undeniable is that there are substantial challenges to all the previous approaches to dealing with North Korea. Once again, the world or the nations of the world can't really stop the spread of nuclear weapons, can they? This is a very ominous sign. Other options still on the table. The measures that the Obama administration seems most drawn to would somehow constrain the North Korean government's access to funds or money. These steps, which would be carried out by the Treasury Department, either openly or covertly, would be directed at banks in Europe and the Middle East that are used by the Kim family, officials have said. The administration could also raise its pressure on China and South Korea to cut off investments in North Korea, a very delicate task given China's reluctance to appear to toe or bow to American influence. Finally, the United States and South Korea could start boarding ships traveling to and from North Korea, but they suspect are carrying nuclear technology. But American officials said they were reluctant of doing that because of the risk of a military confrontation. So, the United States, experts say, has little choice but to continue negotiating with North Korea. The North Korean leadership cares about internal matters, not external matters, said one expert. They care about external matters only insofar as it helps ensure the survival of the regime. Under those circumstances, North Korea is not likely to be receptive to incentives or resolutions. And it may have concluded that having nuclear weapons is a necessity for its own preservation. All this adds up to a very formidable diplomatic challenge for the Obama administration at a time when its energies are being consumed by Pakistan, Iraq, Iran, and Afghanistan. So what to do about North Korea and its nuclear weapons, which it could potentially spread around the world or sell on the world's black market for weapons? At the very least, well, anyway, there's something wrong with this whole picture. So the world can't really control the spread of nuclear weapons, can it? And that's not good. And there will be more consequences of all this and all these things. And these are all more signs of the end times, transition days. Everything is connected. And everything that must change must change rapidly because nuclear weapons that's a serious mistake to let them spread all around the world it's out of control and something will happen something will happen with all these all this nuclear weapons something's going to happen with it and once again all these are more signs.